Hello dear investors and friends of the textile industry. This is Manish Daga from Cotton Guru. This August 2019, the textile industry is facing rough times and so is India, so is the global economy. Mr. Trump and his tweets have had a devastating effect on the economics of various growing countries. India from number 4, number 5 has gone down to number 7 as per the recent reports in the growing economies. Why is that happening? What is going wrong? And what can change this uh, scenario? I think we, should, we need to start from ourselves. How do we plan our business to make it government resilient, to make it weather resilient and to make it risk resilient? Have we planned our business accordingly? The economy is definitely not growing at the rate it was growing last year. Agreed. Nature has not been favorable as it was in the previous years. Agreed. The government policies are much stricter than they were earlier. Agreed. But so what? We are born businessmen. If we are entrepreneurs and if we are into the service industry, we have been through this thick and thin since quite some time. It is not a new phenomenon. But we need to address this issue up front. We need to face the issue and take corrective and preventive action. What is possible here? We can definitely plan our business, structure our business, make a business plan which adapts to the current scenario. We are not going to get the funds that we used to get last year. No. We may not get the same set of buyer that we had last year. Yes, agreed. We may have to restructure our supply chain. We have to do that. We have to go ahead. We can't stay put in the same position that we are right now. We will surely perish if we don't change now. So change is constant and the industry, the investors, the mindset needs to change immediately. We need to make ourselves resilient to whatever challenges are there across the globe, across India, across our sector, across our business. Cotton Guru invites you to think disruptive, to plan disruptive marketing, adopt disruptive technology, disruptive approach and take adequate risk mitigating measures so that we safeguard our business, we safeguard the industry. Textile industry has always been a most supportive industry for the GDP of India, the highest employment after agriculture, second largest foreign exchange earner for the country but the government focus on the textile industry is not enough. In the last budget, textile industry was not touched at all in the speech of the respected FM. The FM needs to focus more on the textile industry, the needs of the textile industry, the issues of the textile industry. One or two things that we would suggest is please increase the export incentives on textiles so that if exports grow, the economy will survive. Exports needs to grow so that the whole, whole supply chain is taken care of and release of funds which are held up against the tough and other incentives have to be done immediately. The industry is actually bleeding right now and it needs support from the government, support from the people, support from the investors to come out of it. Textile industry has always been a fighter. It will come out sooner or later. But with more support from the government and the investor, the comeback would be that much more faster and stronger. So we request all of you to be more supportive for the textile industry and request all the stakeholders of the textile industry have one say. Do not have a, a, a haphazard say sector wise, have a holistic call for the government, for the investors. Be very transparent, be very clear in your trade increase business with deep moral values and ethics so that more and more people trust you, more and more people invest in you and more and more people stay with you for a longer time. Best wishes from Cotton Guru to all of you.